Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, this is your second lesson for online learning. Um, we're going to look at blueprint symbols um, today. So blueprint symbols, there's a variety of them. There's symbols for everything, plumbing, electrical, gas work, um, drain piping, for water piping, for fixtures. Uh, it goes on and on. So what we want to concentrate on is some of the basic blueprint symbols so you guys get an understanding of how to find them in a blueprint. What you're looking at here with the three um, examples is basically you have on the left and the right uh, examples of blueprint symbols. And they all represent a similar idea. So you might see them drawn a little different, but you kind of get the idea of, of what you're looking at. And in the center is this is a floor plan, a blueprint of a main floor of a two bedroom house. So um, what we can see in the blueprint in the center is there's two washrooms, we can see the kitchen, we can see the laundry. Um, and it shows other things too, uh, door frames and the way the doors open, swing open, they show the ceiling fans, they show the electrical to them. But this is a plumbing course and we're gonna deal with plumbing only. So. Let's take a look at a couple of little things here real quick. If, if we look at the center blueprint, and this is going to be similar to an assignment that you're going to get once you receive the packages from uh, Sheridan College. So for instance, here we have a washroom. We have actually two washrooms here. One washroom here, three piece. The, the tub looks very similar to this. We have a toilet here that is similar to this toilet. And we have a lavatory here, which is your bathroom sink. And there it is there. So the symbols are similar, but they're not identical. You notice there's another washroom right here too. Here's your lavatory, your toilet, and your bathtub. So the washrooms are back to back. This shows a door frame, door frame, the door opens into the washroom. You'll notice in the bedrooms, it shows the ceiling fans in the living room. So there's five ceiling fans here. Now, um, obviously you're not gonna have plumbing over here, but in this part you will, cause now we're into the kitchen, see that? So the kitchen shows kitchen sinks which is up here drawn a little different but it's the same idea beside is dwv sorry dw which is dishwasher so i have a double kitchen sink and a dishwasher it also shows the laundry room and there would be your laundry tub and i believe your washer here or there's a washer and dryer it's not even labeled properly so um, it's very possible that it's a washer and dryer. And over here, it looks like we have a stove top of some sort. So, but again, we only deal with the plumbing fixtures. So the plumbing fixtures are, if there was a laundry sink, we'd be in here, be the kitchen, the two tubs, the two toilets, and the two lavatory sinks. Okay. So if we look over here, is another way of doing the drawings. Water closet, which is a toilet. So they're drawn here. You notice this is round and these are round, or this is a, a elongated toilet, but they still represent toilets. And then, um, so what else we got here? I think we have a dishwasher right here, which is very similar to the dishwasher here, which is pretty much identical to the dishwasher in the actual drain plan. So other things to look for are floor drains. There's usually the floor drain in a house is gonna be near the laundry, but this is being a main floor. There doesn't appear to be a floor drain shown here at all. So this gives you an idea of what blueprints are like and what the blueprints uh, symbols represent. Blueprints require symbols for various trades. In plumbing, there are hot and cold water lines, drain lines, hot water tanks, sinks, toilets, boilers, showers, tubs, etc. that must be shown in the drawings. So the following PowerPoint slides will show you a variety of symbols and eventually in an assignment you're going to have to find these symbols, circle them, and get them back to me. 
So the first one is toilet. Now, again, like we saw in the previous slide, toilets can be a little bit different. Some toilet symbols, this is actually round, for instance. But there's a variety of way. But again, it's a general rule of thumb. This is what they look like overall. Bathtub, <clears throat> very similar. Uh, again, you're generally going to have this out outline here and a circle inside it. This is just showing the drain. Some have this, some don't. So next up, we have the kitchen sink. Notice it's just simply a square or somewhat rectangle shape. Again, with a hole in the center representing the drain. Now this would represent a single kitchen sink. Now kitchen sinks at your house will have like either one bowl in the countertop or there'll be two stainless steel bowls side by side. Some occasions you might have three. So if this was to be a double kitchen sink, they would just simply have another square over here, dot in the middle. If it was going to be a triple, well, there'd be two squares over here and two dots in the middle, representing a kitchen sink. So here we have a lavatory. A lavatory is your bathroom sink. Okay, so a lav could be a wall hung lav. This could be a lavatory sink in a, um, a vanity, right? So it just depends, but this gives you the idea of where it's placed in the blueprint and on the job site and when the construction is actually built for a house. But this represents a lavatory. Urinal. Uh, urinals, <laughs> I don't know why, but, uh, you know, through the years they've been confused with bird feeders <laughs> and, and uh, drinking fountains. But this is a urinal. The general shape of a urinal is... Uh, the square here, rectangle, and then this little curve at the front representing the bowl. So, uh, but you might see a couple variations, but this gives you the general idea again. And we will see some variations in this as we go through this PowerPoint. Shower, not to be confused with the kitchen, kitchen sink. We sh I already showed you the kitchen sink and the major difference between the two is the shower is the squared where the kitchen sinks a little bit rectangular for the most part also here we have this x going through the box through the square itself in the center is the drain line from the shower now whenever you see a drawing in a blueprint where it has an x through it like this and it's plumbing related this is show, showing a slope right so everything is sloping down to the drain it's higher up here and it's a little lower here. So when you're having your shower and the water splashing all over the place, it goes down into the center of the drain. Okay, so that's a real easy way to know that you're looking at a shower is when you see the X through it. It may not even have the dot in the middle. Okay. So here we can see some other variations of symbols, but notice they are all basically the same. We got toilets. You can see there's three different shapes for the toilets. But generally speaking, this is one that you will see most often, or some variation of this once again. Uh, there's so many different ways of drawing them, but they're all so similar with each other that uh, after a while, you get to know exactly what you're looking at. There's a urinal shown here, which is a little bit different than what we saw in the previous slide of the urinal. But it gives you the same idea. Kitchen sink. Here's a double kitchen sink shown. This one happens to actually show the taps in it. For the most part, they're not going to be this detailed. They'll just show you the two rectangles with a drain in the middle. But again, you never know. Lavatory sink. Again, similar with a kitchen sink. Sometimes you won't see this much detail in it. Bathtub, General, generally that's what they look like for the most part. So there might be a, a dot in, the, in the, uh, the bathtub itself to show for a drain. But generally speaking, that's what you're looking at when it comes to bathtub. Now shower, we just talked about showers. So we got a variation going on here. So this is a handicapped shower. You'll notice there's a drain here 
this is representing a bench inside the actual shower stall. Now this is big. When these are installed, there's a significant amount of room here. And they're gener generally they're installed where you can actually wheel somebody in on a wheelchair. So they'd be flush with the floor if that was the case. You can also see these lines here which represent an X pattern. Remember this X? It represents the slope. So unlike the previous shower um, picture that we looked at, the blueprint symbol, there's no dot in the middle here. But we still know that this is a shower just by the X alone. These symbols show some plumbing fixtures, but also valves, water lines, orthographic symbols, and cold and hot water lines, etc. Symbols and drawings can vary, but overall, there's a general sense and understanding of what information is trying to be relayed. For instance, some blueprints may show the cold water lines as C, while others may show them as CW. So you might see on a blueprint these type of slashes and it would just carry on all through the, the uh, blueprint. And it would be represented with a C or CW over top of it. You may also find that the cold water line is just a solid line. Same with the hot water line. It could be just a solid line. But then they would have the C or CW above it. Usually written right around here. And that'll give you an indication of what it is you're looking at. <clears throat> so again, the same thing with the hot water line. It just depends. They'll use H or C and CW, HW. Some required letter inserted in, into the picture. For instance, the water meter has a capital M uh, in its circle. So if we take a look at the water meter, you can see the capital M in the middle. That's the water meter, the supply to the house. Where the water comes into your house, uh, it goes through a water meter. And that's how you're, uh, you get billed. <laughs> but there's other ones similar to, um, like for instance, here it shows a WC and it actually has a WC inside it. You don't see the WC too often. You do see this though quite often a hot water heater your hot water tank right is uh wh you'll see w uh dw for dishwasher you'll see lav for lavatory um so you will on occasion see letters in the actual drawings themselves the dishwasher again has the dw Okay, so let's take a look at this and see if we can figure out how many symbols are here, how many symbols you can see and you can actually identify. So the shower, we talked about what the shower looks like. Kitchen sink, remember we talked a bit about the kitchen sink. We talked about the lavatory, what they look like. Same with the WC. Can you see the hot water tank or the hot water heater? What about the dishwasher? Cold water lines, hot water lines, sewer lines, cold water supply. Let's see. So now let's take a look at this and we'll go through them one by one and see what we can find and what we can identify. You see the shower? Remember the shower has the X through it. Generally it's a square. Kitchen sink. This shows a double kitchen sink. What about the lavatory? We know lavatory sinks are in the washroom. The WC or the toilet. What about the hot water tank or the hot water heater? There you go. The dishwasher, well, the dishwasher is going to be in the kitchen. 
there it is. This one's not labeled with a DW. Uh, it's kind of an odd drawing for it, but that's what it's representing. Cold water lines, hot water lines, sewer lines, You see the cold water supply to the, the uh, house? Right down the bottom left. Okay, let's take a look at this blueprint. Now this blueprint has a few little twists to it. And I want you to see if you can figure it out. Can you see the kitchen anywhere in this blueprint? Take a minute and kind of search it through and see if you can see a kitchen in here at all. What does that tell you about this blueprint drawing? Because there is no kitchen. Right? It doesn't show a kitchen. It shows two bathrooms. It shows a master bath over here off of the master bedroom. So you come through this door here. door would open up into the uh, bathroom. You have your shower. It even shows you that the door to the shower has to open outwards. You have your tub here you have two lavatory sinks and up in here you have a toilet which also has its own door so a private little you know wc in here off of off of the master ba uh, bathroom so if one spouse is in here doing their business the other spouse can be out here washing up or whatever the case may be uh, here's the second bathroom it's a uh, bathroom for the rest of the house off of the hallway uh, you have your lavatory sink, you have a toilet, and you've got a tub in here. Okay, so there is no kitchen to be found. So what's it tell you? This would be the second floor of a residential house. Therefore, the kitchen is on the main floor. It would be on another drawing altogether. So here are the stairs leading up to the second floor. Okay, so little things to keep in mind. If you see a kitchen sink, you're likely on the main floor, right? So that's uh, almost a, a dead giveaway. So let's take a look at this blueprint. Now, this is a blueprint we use quite a bit. And uh, if you look here, we'll see if we can identify some things. This blueprint is showing a drain layout. There is uh, no water piping shown here, no hot and no cold water piping. As a matter of fact, it even says down the bottom here, a waste and vent plan. So the waste of the drain lines and the vent will show any vents coming off of it. So, can you, can you tell the difference between the men's and women's washroom? <clears throat> Try and figure it out. Take a look at this and tell me if you can immediately tell what's different between the two. Can you even identify which one is men's and which is women's? Well, let me show you a couple things here. The men's washroom has the urinal. The women's washroom doesn't have a urinal. So for instance, there's the urinal. There's the symbol for the urinal. It's even labeled UR for urinal. It tells you the drain size of the urinal is inch and a half. And here we have the WC and we have the lav on the wall. Here we have the women's washroom and if you notice, there is uh, just a lav and a toilet on its own. There's no urinal in the women's washroom, just in case you're not sure, doesn't happen. <laughs> Other things that you're going to notice on this drain plan, right here. These are the handicap bars, the rails. So there's two in each washroom here. Let me get into this. The... Uh, sanitary drain, the size of the drain, any cleanouts that are on them. So it gives you a little detail of uh, pretty much the waste and the vents. 
there's the urinal gives you the again it gives you the urinal size being inch and a half as I mentioned there earlier and there's the label for it pointing right to the urinal drain okay so there's a lot of information here but for now I just want you guys to become familiar with the symbols that you're looking at so you know what a lab looks like a WC looks like sometimes it'll be labeled sometimes it won't this one in particular actually labels them one uh, individually okay so at some point you're gonna have an assignment and this will be it right now you don't actually have um, a copy of this so I'll send this picture on its own in, in content and slate so and you should also have this handout in your package once it arrives and it'll be labeled drawing one okay or at least it will be on slate so you can match up the drawing uh, what I want you to do is highlight every blueprint symbol you can find re related to plumbing only okay um, you can either circle it you can highlight it you can take a picture of it print it off circle it then take another picture of it after it's been circled and send it to me whatever works for you is totally fine with me you can put into paint and circle it and paint fire it right back to me okay uh, this is for marks but we're not there yet so don't worry about this assignment in particular right now because you're not gonna have to do anything until you actually have this in your hands hopefully within two weeks time okay everybody so that basically um, concludes our blueprint symbols um, I just wanted to touch on the, the basic ones for residential home lavatories bathtub toilet shower stalls hot water tanks kitchen sinks dishwashers and whatever else I may have missed in there that we've gone over through the hot and cold water lines some of the drain lines so um, with that said that does conclude uh blueprint for today so um i will see you all next time take care